Questo è il reparto dedicato all'interessante collezione di feti immaturi conservati nei vasi contenenti dell'alcol. Si possono trovare un agnello a sei zampe, un uccello a tre zampe, ma anche i feti come le altre sigle in preciso, ovvero i fratelli siamesi. Oltre a questo anche un encefalogele e ehm, per quanto questa collezione può rappresentare un vero e proprio teatro dell'orrore, in realtà il fondatore, ovvero Emanuele Barba, voleva semplicemente rappresentare ed esporre la sua ricerca scientifica. Emanuele Barba, such as many other physicians with period, gave attention to the study of congenital malformation and some diseases, well known at that time such as tuberculosis and polio. We are in Gallipoli, where Emanuele Barba was born on the 11th of August 1819. He was a great professor, philosopher, physician and literary man. He wrote a letter to the mayor of the town to describe the bad life conditions of the poor people. He wanted a surgery where he could take care of his patients. He founded the Civic Museum. It's located in the ancient town center where you can find a collection of premature or deformed fetus preserved in alcohol. This museum shows other collections about fossils, poetry and weapons, and it is a landmark for the young people in the area because it has a huge variety of ancient books and authentic manuscripts. Barba and other physicians like Scarano and Brunetti studied this malformation to find out some practical solution to eradicate them. He also gave his best in civil activities for his fellow citizen good. An old manuscript says that in Gallipoli there was a lot of ill people because of dirt and unhealthy hair, so they suggested the city hall to do recycling to clean up the town. Although these congenital malformations are still here and despite science, medicine made a huge progress like vaccines, the work of great men such as Emanuele Barba must not be forgotten. <laughs>